Hi, it's Kerry. Today we are looking at hoofed animals. There will be the cake buffalo, hippopotamus, wild boar, giraffes, a dromedary camel, zebras, rhinoceros all at my watering hole the Cape buffalo is the only species of wild cattle found in Africa it has a large head broad chest and strong legs the body is covered with hair that can be brownish to black in color it is also known as the African or the forest or savannah buffalo African buffaloes live in large herds in the sub-Saharan parts of Africa. But living in a herd means animals know the best feeding areas and sources of water. Besides that, they are protected against the predators. When faced with predators, animals of the herd form a circle around the young, old or weak animals, exposing their large and sharp horns towards the predators. They do rely on water, so where they live must receive 10 inches of rain per year or more. Ah, the hippopotamus. It is the third largest land animal after the elephant and white rhinoceros and are found in Africa. A hippopotamus likes to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. They have a barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. Hippos can run fast and can be extremely aggressive, especially if they feel threatened and they are considered to be in the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. The male is called a bull, the female a cow and the baby is a calf. Here's the baby. Wild boar. The wild boar is a close relative of domestic pigs and likes to live in forests. Their body is covered with a double coat of fur. The upper coat is made of harsh bristly hair and the undercoat is much softer. Tusks on the bottom lip are one of the most prominent features of a wild boar. Males use their tusks for fighting during the mating season. The wild boar has a long rubbery snout that is used for digging underground roots and bulbs. Wild boar is an omnivore feeding mainly on seeds, fruit, leaves, berries, eggs, mice, lizards, worms and snakes. Wild boars are nocturnal animals. They will sleep for 12 hours during the day hidden in a nest made of leaves. Giraffe. The distinctive patterns on a giraffe's fur helps camouflage it and protect it from predators. The giraffe blends in with the trees and bushes as its fur blends in with the shadows and sunlight. Male giraffes sometimes fight each other over a mate by swinging their necks and heads at each other. This is called necking. They are the world's tallest living land animals. An adult male can grow to around five and a half meters tall. That's about three adult humans. For giraffes, drinking is one of the most dangerous times as it cannot keep an eye out for predators and is vulnerable to attack. Giraffes are found in the dry savannas of Africa where they roam among the open plains and woodlands. Being tall is helpful for keeping a lookout for predators such as lions and hyenas. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry beasts from far away. 
Giraffes are herbivores, their favourite food is the acacia tree and they use their long necks to reach the leaves and buds in the treetops. They use their long tongues to help pull down leaves that are growing way up high. Giraffes live in groups called towers, led by an adult male. They get most of their water from their leafy meals and only need to drink once every few days. Female giraffes give birth standing up. The baby giraffes are quick to get on their feet within 30 minutes they are standing and only hours later they are able to run with their mothers. This is a dromedary camel. It has a single hump. The hump contains fatty tissue reserves which can be converted to water or energy when required. They can survive up to six months without food or water by using up these fatty stores. A large camel can drink around 30 gallons or 113 litres in just 13 minutes, making them able to rehydrate faster than any other mammal. Camels are well suited to the hot sandy desert they roam in. Their thick coat insulates them from the heat and also lightens during summer to help reflect heat. Long eyelashes, ear hair and closable nostrils keep sand from affecting the camel while their wide feet help them move without sinking into the sand. Zebras are members of the horse family. They make a loud barking or braying sound. Every zebra has a unique pattern of black and white stripes, which helps with camouflage. When zebras are grouped together, their stripes make it hard for a lion or leopard to pick out one zebra to chase. A zebra's tail is around half a metre or 18 inches long. They sleep standing up and mostly eat grass and leaves. Wild zebras live in Africa. Zebras are part of the equidae family, along with horses and donkeys. When chased, zebras run from side to side to try and confuse the predator. The ears of a zebra show its mood and they have excellent eyesight and hearing. Rhinoceros. The two African species of rhinos have two horns made from a protein called keratin, the same substance that fingernails and hair are made of. Rhinos use their horns not only in battles for territory or females, but also to defend themselves from lions, tigers and hyenas. Rhinoceros has a thick protective skin, but it can be quite sensitive to sunburns and insect bites, which is why they like to wallow so much. When the mud dries, it acts as protection from sunburn and insects. They can run up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. The black rhino is a herbivore and has a hooked lip which allows it to feed on trees and shrubs. Rhinos are short-sighted and bad-tempered, which makes them very dangerous. They'll charge at full force and use their horns to kill or injure what they think might be a danger or annoyance to them. Stay for 
for some more fun wildlife videos. I really love these wild animals, especially the giraffes and zebras. And stay for the fun ending when the baby hippo has fun in the water. Hi, it's Kerry. Today we're going to look at some more wildlife visiting my watering hole. This is a black mamba snake, one of the world's deadliest snakes. It is the fastest and longest land snake in the world. Black mambas are actually brownish in colour with a pale belly. Their name comes from the black colour inside their mouths. This is a green snake lives in the grass where it is well camouflaged and it's able to climb small trees and bushes. Black mammoths can grow up to 14 feet long which is four and a quarter meters. They typically eat small mammals and birds and have very flexible jaws. You can see the black inside the mouth there. Rattlesnakes are best known for and most easily recognized by their rattle. The rattle is made by segments in their tail locking together. Rattlesnakes eat small animals like rodents, squirrels and rabbits. Chimpanzee young. Chimpanzees use natural tools like sticks or stones to obtain their food using their hands. They use sticks to find termites in the ground and rocks to crack open nuts. This is the female chimpanzee. Females usually give birth to a single infant. The female looks after the baby by letting it cling to her fur. As it gets older, it gets to ride on her back until about the age of two. Chimpanzees like to sleep in trees for safety. This is the ring-tailed lemur. It's only found in Madagascar. They are easy to recognize from their tail. They can climb quite well but prefer to spend a third of their time on the forest floor foraging for food. They eat leaves, flowers, bark, sap and some small invertebrates. Crocodiles are reptiles that have very sharp teeth and powerful jaws. Crocodiles are carnivores and hunt fish, birds, frogs and crustaceans. They live in tropical areas because they are cold blooded. The largest saltwater crocodile found was over 20 feet long, which is 6 meters. This is the Nile crocodile. It mainly eats fish, but will attack almost anything it comes across, including zebras, small hippos, porcupines, birds, other crocodiles, and people. It will also scavenge carrion and can eat up to half its body weight at a feeding. The aardvark is an unusual looking animal with a pig like snout, rabbit like ears and a kangaroo like tail. They are nocturnal and avoid the hot afternoon sun by resting in their underground burrow. Their favourite food is termites. They use their clawed spade like feet to dig through a termite mound then its long sticky tongue to reach in and get the insects. The pink flamingo lives where there is water. Flamingos eat algae and tiny shellfish that are rich in carotenoids, which is why these birds are pink or orange. When they want to eat, they put their beak into the water upside down. Their mouth fills with water and any plant or animal remains behind once they pump the water out of their mouth. They like to stand on one foot and can live anywhere between 30 to 50 years. They are able to fly. Meerkats. 
They have long, strong, curved claws that they use for digging burrows where they live in clans of 20 to 50 animals. They mainly eat insects but also lizards, snakes, scorpions, spiders, plants, eggs, small mammals, centipedes and fungi. They always have one sentry on guard to watch out for predators. This is the spotted hyena. They are scavengers and are also skilled hunters that can take down a wildebeest or antelope. They also kill and eat birds, lizards, snakes and insects. Spotted hyenas have good hearing and sharp eyesight at night time. They are fast and can run for a long distance without tiring. Packs work together effectively to isolate a herd animal and kill it. The African wild dog lives on the open plains and sparse woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa. These long-legged canines have only four toes per foot. Each animal has its own unique coat colours and pattern with big rounded ears. African wild dogs live and hunt in packs. This is the black backed jackal. It has a bushy tail with a black tip and large pointed ears. Its diet typically includes reptiles, birds and their eggs, plants, mussels and fish and dead animals. It also feeds on invertebrates and small to medium sized mammals, using its large mobile ears to detect them before leaping and pouncing on the unsuspecting prey. It is nocturnal. The bearded vulture is the only animal that mainly eats bone. In Crete, it is known as the bone eater. The bird throws the larger bones from a height onto rocky slopes so they break and then quickly descends after them in a characteristic spiral motion. If the bone does not break the first time, they keep on throwing until the bone breaks. The bird then eats the bone pieces starting with the bone marrow. It nests on high rock ledges and inhabits exclusively high mountainous areas in Europe. Vultures love to eat rotten meat. They can glide with their wide strong wings in the air for hours looking for a meal. Vultures eat as much as they can at one meal. They have been known to attack sick or dying animals as well. Vultures live in every part of the world except Australia and the Antarctica. The ostrich is the largest bird in the world. Even though it has wings, it can't fly. But it makes up for the lack of flight by running very fast. The ostrich is found in nature in Africa, but it is farmed all over the world for its meat. The males have black feathers with some white on the underside and tail. The females are usually grey in colour. An ostrich's eyes can be nearly two inches in diameter. This is the ostrich baby. Each herd has one big nest where all the eggs are laid. This way the entire herd can hope to protect the eggs. Ostrich eggs are the biggest eggs of any animal at an average of three pounds. Ah, this is the mandrill female and the baby. Mandrills are the largest of all monkeys. They are shy and reclusive primates that are found in the rainforests of equatorial Africa. Mandrills are extremely colourful with blue and red skin on their faces and their brightly coloured bottoms. These distinctive colours become brighter when the animal is excited. They have very long canine teeth that can be used for self-defence. This is the mandrill male. Mandrills live in troops which are headed by a dominant male and include a dozen or more females and young. They use their long arms to forage on the ground for fruits, roots and animals such as insects, reptiles and amphibians. Their cheeks have built-in pouches that are used to store snacks for later consumption. Ah, the baby hippopotamus. The male hippopotamus is called a bull, the female a cow, and the baby a calf. 
The hippopotamus is the third largest land animal after the elephant and white rhinoceros and are found in Africa. A hippopotamus likes to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. They have a barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. Look at those teeth. Hippos can run fast and can be extremely aggressive, especially if they feel threatened and they are considered to be in the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. African elephant is the largest land living mammal in the world. They use their tusks to dig for food and find water. Their main diet is leaves, twigs, bamboo and roots. The elephant's trunk can grow to be about 6 feet or 2 meters long. An elephant uses its trunk to lift objects or food and suck up water then pour it into its mouth. They can swim using their trunks like a snorkel. How clever is that? Elephants give birth after an almost 22 month pregnancy. Each female elephant gives birth to a calf every two to four years. The baby elephant. At birth, elephants already weigh 200 pounds, which is 91 kilos, and are three feet or one meter tall. If you like this video, Please remember to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching Super Fun Reviews. Please stay right on here for lots more fun videos. See you again soon. Wild animals coming up. Hi, it's Kerry here. Today we are looking at some of my new animals for the watering hole with some interesting facts. Then some of the existing family will join them at the watering hole. I really like my new boma fence. A boma is a livestock enclosure to keep predators out. The boma fence is made from 12 smaller fences which fit together to make the size fence you need. Crocodile baby. Baby crocodiles hatch from eggs. Nests are built on the water's edge from sand, mud and weeds and are really just shallow holes. These nests are only a few inches high. A crocodile egg is about the size of a goose egg. The temperature of the nest determines the gender of the baby. When the mother crocodile hears the grunts of her babies, she helps the hatchlings push out of the nest. The babies themselves get out of the eggs using their egg tooth. The fox is a member of the dog family. 
Foxes live in dens, which are underground burrows. Foxes are most active at night. Their eyes have excellent night vision. They catch prey by using a high pounce. This technique is one of the first things cubs learn as they begin to hunt. This is my tigress. She has babies. Baby tigers are also known as cubs. They're nursed by their mother. Most litters are made up of two to four young cubs. Tiger cubs are born blind and are completely dependent on their mother. The tiger cub's eyes will open sometime between six to 12 days. However, they do not have their full vision for a couple of weeks. It is only after two months that they begin eating meat until they are completely weaned. Tiger cubs leave their mother when they are around two years of age. And here's the cubs, they are so gorgeous. Tiger cubs begin to hunt with their mother and siblings between the age of eight and 10 months. The tigress is primarily concerned with teaching her young how to hunt and protect themselves. So you can see how they match up to the mum there for a feed. The Blue Wildebeest Baby. Calves are born in February and March each year at the beginning of the rainy season. A calf eats its first grass at about 10 days, although it still relies on its mother for at least four months. Calves learn to walk within minutes of birth follows its mother and stays close to her to avoid getting lost or killed by waiting predators. Within days they are able to keep up with the herd. The river otter is a carnivorous mammal from the weasel family. It lives in a burrow at the edge of the water. Otters are very active hunters, searching and chasing prey through water or scouring the rivers and the seabed for many hours each day. They eat fish, turtles, crayfish and amphibians and like to play and splash in the water. This is a hippopotamus calf. The male is called a bull, the female a cow, and the baby a calf. The females are more likely to aggressively attack if their young are threatened. She leaves them in the water while she feeds on the shore. They live on the banks of rivers and lakes. Hippopotamus is the third largest land animal after the elephant and white rhinoceros and are found in Africa. A hippopotamus likes to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. They have a barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. Hippos can run fast and be extremely aggressive, especially if they feel threatened and they are considered to be in the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. This is a white rhinoceros. Both black and white rhinoceroses are actually grey. They are different not in colour but in lip shape. The black rhino has a pointed upper lip while its white relative has a squared lip. The difference in lip shape is related to the animal's diets. Rhinos are short sighted and bad tempered which makes them very dangerous. They'll charge at full force and use their horns to kill or injure what they think might be a danger or annoyance to them. There are two species, the black rhino and the white rhino. The white rhino, which is really grey, is the second largest land mammal after the elephant. 
white rhinos live on Africa's grassy plains where they sometimes gather in groups of as many as a dozen individuals. This is a white rhino baby. Black rhinos live in savanna, shrub and tropical bush areas. They eat leaves, bushes, small tree branches and shoots. Rhinos are large mammals. The rhinoceros has a thick protective skin but it can be quite sensitive to sunburns and insect bites which is why they like to wallow so much. When the mud dries it acts as a protection from the sunburn and insects. An adult rhino can run up to speeds of 38 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour for short durations at a time. Remember to keep your distance. Never get in between a mother and her baby or anywhere near an older male. Grizzly bear cub. You can recognize grizzly bears by the hump on their back and the white tip fur on their shoulders and back. The hump is made of muscles. Cubs will stay with their mother for two to four years. She is very protective and if you come close to her cubs she can easily kill you. Cubs can climb trees when they are young. Grizzly bears can swim well, run fast and have good eyesight and an extremely good sense of smell. And now some of the other family members will join the new animals of the watering hole. Thank you for watching my video. Stay for more fun videos at Super Fun Reviews. See you again soon. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you. Hi, it's Kerry here. Today I'm showing my new animals at the watering hole. There has been some heavy rain, so now there is a river joining the watering hole. You will get to see a female orangutan with a baby, plus a baby orangutan bull elephant, a quagga, a new hippopotamus, and a male chimpanzee. Give a thumbs up if you like wildlife. The hippopotamus is the third largest land animal after the elephant and white rhinoceros. They are found in Africa. A hippopotamus likes to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. They have a barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. Females are very protective of their young.
African elephant. These awesome animals have impressive power and lethal strength. The elephant's trunk can grow to be about 6 feet or 2 meters long. An elephant uses its trunk to lift objects or food and suck up water then pour it into its mouth. They can swim using their trunk like a snorkel. Orangutans are red-haired apes that live in the tropical rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo in Southeast Asia. Orangutans have an enormous arm span. A male may stretch his arms 7 feet or 2 meters wide. Their standing height is about 5 feet which is 1.5 meters tall. When orangutans do stand, their hands nearly touch the ground. They live and sleep in the treetops of their tropical rainforest home. The orangutan baby. Infants will stay with their mothers for some six or seven years until they develop all the skills they need to survive on their own. The quagga, also called the Cape quagga, it's a recently extinct zebra. It was a yellowish brown colour with stripes only on its head, neck and forebody and looks similar to a cuppy. It is believed that the quagga went extinct in 1883 when the last one died in captivity in a zoo. This is a chimpanzee male. I love the stance on this one. Chimpanzees' hands are very much like ours. They have four long fingers plus a thumb. Their feet have five toes, including a big toe. Chimpanzees can grasp things with both their hands and their feet. Notice that their big toe grows out to the side. Thank you for watching my video. Stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Please remember to share, like and subscribe. Thank you.